Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we will discuss file systems. Even though hard drives can be very small, they still contain millions of bits and therefore needs to be organized so that information can be located. This is the purpose of the file system. Remember that the hard drive is made up of several circular platters rotating around an axis. The tracks are divided into pieces called sectors, each 512 bytes in size. Logical formatting of a disk allows a file system to be created on the disk, which in turn allow an operating system like DOS, Windows, Unix, etc. to use the disk space to store and use files. The file system is based on management of clusters, the smallest disk unit that the operating system is able to manage. A cluster consists of one or more sectors, so that larger the cluster size, the fewer entries the operating system will have to manage. On the other hand, since an operating system only knows how to manage whole allocation unit, the more sector per cluster, the more wasted space there will be. This is why the choice of file system is important. In reality, the choice of file system depends first of all on the operating system that you are using. In general, the more recent the operating system, the greater the number of files it will support. So under DOS and on the first version of Windows 95, FAT16 is required. Starting with Windows 95 OS R2, you have the choice between FAT16 and FAT32 file system. If the partition size is greater than 2 GB, the FAT file system are excluded and you need to use FAT32 system or modify the size of the partition. Below this limit, FAT16 is recommended for partitions with the capacity of less than 500 MB. Otherwise, it is preferred to use FAT32. In case of Windows NT, you have the choice between FAT16 system and NTFS. FAT32 is supported in general. The NTFS system is recommended as it provides higher security and better performance than FAT system. Microsoft actually recommends using a small FAT type partition of between 500 to 250 MB of the operating system so as to be able to boot from a bootable DOS floppy disk in case of a disaster and to use a second partition for storing your data. Under Windows NT5, there are more choices as it accepts FAT16, FAT32 and NTFS partitions. Once again, the more recent file systems NTFS5 is recommended as it offers many more features than FAT system. For the same reasons given above, you can still choose to have a FAT type partition. Coexistence of several file systems. When several operating systems coexist on a same machine, the problem of choosing a file system is at its worst. Since the file system is tightly coupled to the operating system, when there are several operating systems, you must choose a file system for each, bearing in mind that it is possible that data from one operating system may be accessed from another. One solution would be to use FAT partitions for all the systems, making sure that the partitions are no larger than 2 GB. The most appropriate solution would be to use for each OS a partition whose file system is best suited to it and to use a dedicated FAT16 partition for data to be shared by the different operating systems.